Hey guys, today we are going to look at classifying rational numbers. We're going to answer the question, how do I determine if a number is a natural number, whole number, integer, or rational numbers? So let's start with natural or counting numbers. I like to think of these as the most basic numbers. Think of like the first numbers that a baby would learn when they're counting. It's one, two, three, four, and so on. So these are just positive whole or counting numbers beginning with one. So any positive whole number like 952.0 or 400, those would belong in the natural or counting numbers. Then we go to whole numbers. Whole numbers are still going to include those natural or counting numbers and we're gonna add zero. So anything that is a natural or counting number and zero will go in whole numbers. So 12 over three simplifies to four, which is a natural number, so that still can go in the whole numbers. Zero and 81 would also be considered whole numbers. And 12 over three and 81 would also belong in the natural or counting subset. Okay, then we get two integers. It includes all of the whole numbers, so positive numbers and zeros, and their opposites or negative numbers. So negative 10, negative six over three simplifies to negative two, so that would be an integer, and 16 is still considered an integer since that's a whole number. So integers include positive whole numbers, zero, and negative whole numbers. And then we add rational numbers. These are numbers that can be written as fractions, terminating decimals, or repeating decimals. So negative 15.2 would be considered a rational number. Negative two over seven would be considered a rational number since that's a fraction. And 1.38 repeating would be a rational number since those are, or since that's a repeating decimal. And then integers, whole numbers, natural counting numbers are still in that rational number set. Okay, so what we're gonna do is practice identifying. Um, we want to label A, B, C, and D with the different parts of the number system. So D is the natural numbers that's most specific, that's just the positive numbers. And then whole numbers will add zero. And then integers include whole numbers and natural numbers, and also we add the negatives when we get to integers. And then rational numbers includes all of that and fractions, terminating decimals, and repeating decimals. So let's start with 25. 25 is a positive whole number, so that would be considered a natural number. We could also say that it is a whole number, integer, and rational number, but we're gonna be as specific as we can. That is a natural number, so that would go in this set right here. Okay, then 0 0.3 repeating, that's a repeating decimal, so this is going to be a rational number. So we would put that in the A set over here for rational numbers. And then 13 and 3 fourths, that is a fraction, so that would also be a rational number. So that would belong in A. And then negative 15 over 3, that is in fraction form, but we can simplify that to negative 5. So this is a negative whole number, so that's going to be considered an integer. So negative 15 over three will go in the integer set. And then we have nine sevenths, that is a fraction that won't simplify any further, so that's gonna be rational. Negative 10.0, that is a negative whole number, that would just simplify to negative 10. So we have another integer. So negative 10.0 will go in the integers. 0 0.2323, that is a terminating decimal, so that would be in the rational numbers. So that most outer set. 12 over six is in fraction form, but 12 divided by six simplifies to two, which is a natural number. Negative 
And then zero is whole number. So we'd put that in set C. And then the last one, negative 1.8, that's a terminating decimal, so that will go in the rational numbers.